let's start the interview prakash uh, okay. right one console log there yeah inside your name a string right your name yeah string name okay outside string give minus operator 1 2 3 4 what it will print i think uh, undefined no why would it give undefined any reason uh, no actually uh, actually a uh, subtraction sign so so what happens here is whenever we use the subtract and uh, I mean the minus operator, no? Yes. The minus operator forces numeric conversion. So what JavaScript does, it tries to convert the mm -hmm. string to a number. So it tries to convert Prakash to a number, but it fails. And okay. that's why it gives us not a number. So what we have, not a number minus one, two, three, four, and it will give us not a number. So the output of this question is not a number. You can run the code. Okay. Yeah, fine. Okay. Can you write an array from numbers one to seven? You have to use find method and you have to return the elements greater than four. Okay. So, so when we use the condition element greater than four in find method, what it will give? So first you will... okay, mm -hmm. first you use the find method and write the condition there. Okay. And then you tell me what it will give before you run the code. What will be the output when you write this condition? Mm, five, six, seven, the X and, and uh, then find the uh, element like a uh, check condition and which will can you write filter method as well? And there also you write the same condition. Value greater than four. So now what you are telling for the first one, it will give us five, six, four. And the second one also give us five, six, four or what? So I think uh, five, six, seven will return. Okay. What happens here is when we use filter, it will give mm -hmm. you five, six, seven with correct answer. Mm -hmm. But in case of find, what it does is find returns the first match only. Mm -hmm. So the first match is five. So, so it returns only five, not okay. five, six, seven. It just yeah. returns five. Got it. Yeah. Okay. You can run the code. I mean, you can just console log both result and result two and run the code and check. Got it, sir. Fine. Uh, are you aware of post increment operator and pre increment operator? Yes. I'm sharing one snippet with you. Okay. When this mm -hmm. code executes, mm -hmm. what will be the console.log values here? So, first uh, console log will return mm -hmm. one. Why one? Uh, actually, first, uh, uh, it is a post increment. So it will uh, first increment and then change, update the value. Oh, sorry. So I think it will return zero. Okay. One and two here. Okay. So why zero for first console log? First print the value, uh, line number 12. That means uh, first will uh, return the value and then update. Okay. Yes, correct. Or... Uh, Second, uh, mm -hmm. console.log will return uh, like uh, first uh, update, uh, like uh, first, first increment. increments. Okay, yes. first, and then it returns. Returns. Okay. And here, what about the third console log? So it will return like uh, uh, two here. You can comment out the other code and run this one. Yeah, that's and correct. Post increment, what it does, it first returns the value and yes. then increments. Yeah. And the pre increment, uh, pre increment is first it increments and then returns. Yeah, this correct. is correct. Yeah. Mm. What spread operator? A spread operator. Yeah. So, a spread operator uh, collect a value and uh, return mm -hmm. individual. Can you value. write an example of it? Uh, like uh, we have a two array. Like, uh, mm -hmm. 
no need one please friend okay this is about spread operator okay what is rest operator uh rest operator is uh, collect uh, multiple value and uh, mm -hmm. return a variable okay can you write an example of it as well like uh, No, you already use the console log. You can directly run the function. Yes, this is correct. Can I run, sir? Yeah, please. Yeah, but now you have to tell me in what order this code will get executed. So first console dot log a will return. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, then we'll return. Mm -hmm. I'm just resolve uh, then D. Then we'll return after that a uh, D. Mm -hmm. First it returns A, then you're saying D. Okay. Yeah. Or uh, third will return mm, C and third then return C. Why C before D? Oh, sorry, why before B? Mm, because it is a uh, set interval return after uh, some given time gap so that's why set time out here the time is zero no but uh, it is uh, but first we'll yeah. return high order uh, function this so why? high order function see your output is correct first it prints a then d then c and then b we know uh, about macro task queue micro task queues like uh yes set time out sir mm -hmm. uh, actually i'm not a uh, set time out return after a millisecond so that's why uh um it did not return uh, uh, before the c mm, no See, javascript executes the code from top to bottom synchronously so the first mm -hmm. line it executes console.log a then okay. Second comes set timeout. Okay. But mm. this does not run immediately. Why? Even with zero milliseconds delay, because it goes to macro task queue. There are two queues, macro task queues and micro task queues. Okay. Okay. Promises goes to the micro task queues. And micro task queues have higher priority than the macro task queues. Yeah. So got that's it. why promises gets resolved first and then set timeout. So first it runs. A, then D. B. You can run the code. Yeah. Uh, fine, sir. Okay. Can you write one array there? One zero two zero. Const array, and write elements like one comma zero, comma two, comma zero, comma three. Okay. So what you have to do is you have to write a function such that it moves all the zeros to the end of an array. So that the output should be one comma two comma three comma zero comma zero. Okay, really, I'm not recall, sir. To okay, little... create two arrays there. Const array and array one or array two. Array empty array. Okay. Hmm. Next array two, array one and array two. Make it as array one array two, because already line number forty four we have declared it as array. Hmm. Again empty array. Okay, you have to loop through this array. Use for loop. And loop through these const array. Uh, next line. Yeah, next line. For loop. Yeah, for loop. You can use for of loop. Let uh, for let number of array. Then you have to write just condition there. Okay, if number equals to zero, triple equals to zero. Okay, then you have to push to the any one of the array so uh, like uh, yeah inside, number inside the, only number yeah just pass num there okay okay and else condition you have to pass right to else condition okay inside the else condition again you need to pass array two dot push number okay now what you have to do you have to merge these two arrays but yeah, you no no no. First, it should be array two, no, 
because we have to move the zero to the end mm. of an array. Okay. So all our zero elements are inside array one. So non-zero elements are inside array two. So first start with array two, comma, dot, 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 array one. Mm. Now you, yeah. you can run the code. Identify. Okay, comment out the other code apart above line number 44. Comment out all. Yeah. Okay. Understand? Hmm. What we have done here, we have taken two arrays. In one array, hmm. we passed all the non-zero elements, and the other array we passed all zero element, zero yeah. elements. And then we merge both the arrays. Okay, got it. Okay. Can you write there console.log one less than two less than three? What it will print, Prakash? So mm, it'll print uh, like uh, an idea. Mm, null. Null. Yeah. Could you please explain why it will print null? Uh, I think uh, not a number. Not a number. Okay, you are you you are saying not a number. Yes. Why? Uh, mm, I don't know, sir. I'm not much familiar. Okay. Okay, so what it does, first it checks one less than two and it will give you true, correct? Now we have true less than three. Yes. Okay, so what JavaScript does here is when you compare a Boolean with number no, so JavaScript converts true to one. Okay. True means one. Yeah, so one. again, it will be one less than three. So okay, again, fine. it gives us true. True. So the output of this operation is true. You can run the code. Yeah, right. End of time. What are all hooks you have worked with, Prakash? Or you are aware of? Mm, use a state and use effect. What about the other hooks? Uh, I know uh, not... Uh, uh, I know much, not much. I mean, okay. I know basic only. Okay. So what is use effect used for? Use effect is a react hook, which is... Mm -hmm. Use state is a react hook, which is used to... Uh, store and manage a state data okay. in a functional component and okay. uh, it helps what about uh, use effect what about use effect use effect is a react hook which is used to perform uh, side effects like uh, fetch data from api updating dom okay. Okay. yes okay what is prop drilling uh prop drilling yeah. Uh, I know. Uh, sorry, I'm not able to recall right now. So what prop drilling is like passing one prop from one component to the other nested components. Consider okay. we have 10 components and mm -hmm. all are nested one. Like first component, it returns second, then second returns third, third returns fourth, like that. And now you need a state or prop from first component. Okay, there is some prop in your first component and you need that prop in your last component. Now, how you will pass the props? You will pass it like from first component to second, then second to third, third to fourth. Likewise, you pass it to your 10th component. This is called prop drill. Prakash, what are keys in React and why they are important? Keys are unique identifier where uh, update uh, data okay yes let me ask you one small react js question a machine coding question i'm giving you yes. one url yes you have to call this api fetch the data and display only the titles in the list format okay fine okay first uh, i'm mm -hmm. creating a, a state Use state. Okay. And like uh, const. Why do we need state here? Uh, like uh, data. Okay, to store the data. Yeah. Okay. Store the data. So uh, then uh, use effect. Okay. Effect to fetch data from the API. You're passing data there. No, actually, don't need thing. Okay. 
Give me the semicolon from line number nine. Okay, sorry. So, catch which find the error like uh, so it will return error error. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then here. Why empty array there? Uh, I don't know, sir. It's use effect dependency array. Okay. Yeah. If we yeah. keep it as empty, then it only runs once. Okay. data my result it should be data yeah and thin error like uh, here yeah. you missed to pass the arrow there yeah pass their arrow you need to define youth state you have to import youth state no you have to import youth state and use effect yeah save it when the console save it means fetch is working correctly now you have to display the title how okay. you are going to display the title now in the list format here yeah there only you you have to write the code uh, like uh, if uh, i want to uh, fetch data i uh, saw data on display so uh, first use data dot map and then uh, like uh, mm -hmm. then so data like uh, list yeah. here um data dot it and then but where is data you're not passing anything in map okay here yeah this is like uh, item that's item yeah uh item dot id mm -hmm. and then here uh item dot title item dot title fine yeah but... it's fine but it is not rendering why save it control s control s go to console can just go to console and check remove line number 15 now it is not displaying anything why don't know sir Remove that UL. It should be outside data dot map. Okay. Okay. First of all, then you had to return it. Return. It's working now. You're mm. not returning, no. Mm. But uh, line number sixteen is not working, sir. So why? Okay. Got it. Got it. It is working. No. You're mm -hmm. returning the list element. From okay, the okay. map method. If yeah, you write it in a single line, then no need to write return there. Yeah. Don't need you will. You will, you need it, but mm -hmm. not here. If you write there you will know it will create UL LI structure for each and every title. Okay. Okay, so that's why what you have to do below line number 17, you have to write UL there. So now if you see the mm -hmm. Dom no, so you will be having only one UL there. Okay, yeah, that's it, Prakash. That's it from my end. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much, sir.